Hello, it's day five of Ampathon, Friday. It's actually going to be my last full day of Ampathon. My brother's going to stay with me tomorrow, so I think I can continue Ampathon until tomorrow afternoon, maybe, and then I'll kind of have to stop it there. So yeah, I'm really going to try to get a good bit of reading done today, and actually lots of editing. So yeah, as I would have mentioned in my previous video, I actually read a good bit of Dracula yesterday in day four, and definitely past the halfway point now, but I actually do think I'll probably put it down today. I read some other things. This morning I've been reading Wither, so Wither by Lauren de Savano. I think I've read two chapters this morning. I'm on page 260, so I have a hundred pages left. So I actually think I'll probably finish this today because, as you can see, the writing's quite big, so it's it's very easy to kind of get through a few pages. So I don't know how I feel about this book, to be honest. I think the negatives are outweighing the positives, but I'm just hoping the last hundred pages kind of lifts it a little bit. Like I'm kind of hoping for a dark twist. I'm kind of hoping for a bit more action. To be honest, I feel like as soon as Ryan gets married and stuff like that, not much happens. Not much happens to her and her sister brides. A few kind of like domestic things. They're kind of learning about how their marriages are working and everything like that and all the complications of that. There's also a bit of a forbidden romance in this too. So yeah, it's getting interesting. It's been kind of not dull, but like not very action packed the last like maybe third of the book. So I'm just kind of hoping the end of it kind of ramps up. But yeah, it is the, I have to bear in mind that it's definitely the start of a trilogy. So I don't think I'm going to get a start, middle and end in this. You can tell that this book is definitely a setup for a series. Yeah, I just kind of hope there's a bit of a twist and that will make me want to read the next two novels, which I probably will. I don't dislike it, but yeah, I just think some things can be executed better. And yeah, just hope more action happens. And then I was thinking if I get this done, I think I actually might move on to City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab or V.E. Schwab as she's more well known and this is a little middle grade book so I actually think I'll get through it really really quick because it is again kind of like Wither large font size children's book so this shouldn't take me too long because I think I do want to use this as my prompt today. The Instagram prompt today is your current read with a spooky drink. I'm actually so sad. I ordered like this little cauldron mug and it hasn't arrived and I ordered it like a month ago so anyway I'll make another drink. I think I've got this idea that I'm going to make little ghost marshmallows and I've got little ghost sweets so I think it'll kind of fit this. But yeah I think I'll read that for a bit. I definitely need to edit as well because <laughs> I feel a little bit behind but yeah I'm going to get back to reading. Hello again. Again, apologies for the bad lighting. <laughs> That's the thing with daily vlogging, I've noticed. You just kind of have to vlog whenever you can. Usually with a sit down video, I'm kind of like, okay, I'll wait till it's bright outside and I have lots of free time and I have makeup on. <laughs> but with vlogging, I'm just kind of like, whenever I can get some time. I just thought I'd pop on actually because I just finished Wither by Lauren De Savano. If you've seen my previous vlogs then you probably understand my feelings on this. It was mediocre. It wasn't great but I also didn't hate it either. I feel like what the author wanted to communicate happened and yet kind of left on a cliffhanger. It's 
very much a setup for a trilogy as it is it does have two more books in the series i do feel like a good trilogy each individual book should still really have a start middle and end maybe a cliffhanger yeah I think I've read too many standalone books recently. <laughs> I nearly forget what a setup for a series is like. I feel like I can't really give my full thoughts until I read books two and three. But yeah, it was okay. A little predictable. Basically, it's a dystopian America. Every woman dies at the age of 20 and every man dies at the age of 25. The wealthy in the country kind of promote really young marriage. So usually one man will usually have a few wives and women... <laughs> are deemed like women by the time they're 13 or 14. As long as they can have kids, they're married off. So it's quite sad, but yeah, if you're a 19 year old, you're an old woman in this world. Really quite interesting, but sad too. It's definitely an eerie book. I just don't know if it was executed the best. There's kind of a setup of a love triangle and actually for both of them i wasn't really excited for either of them i'm an absolute sucker for romance such a sucker i adore romance and i, I wasn't really excited about either of the couples here really one of them is still quite sweet yes and then i do get that the author really wanted to convey that captive or a forced marriage or whatever this situation is i don't want to spoil it obviously can have really complicated feelings toward their captor there's definitely a bit of stockholm syndrome here the main character ryan she definitely changes her mind about her husband which is fine but i think the book try to makes you feel sorry for the husband and i just didn't care about him at all i just really didn't care about him his father is supposed to be this evil guy and you don't really see any of the evilness. I can actually, I don't know if I can predict that maybe it's going to turn out that he's actually a good person. Maybe someone who's read this could let me know. I can see that your opinion of the villain can change, definitely. Yeah, I don't know. I, this just left me kind of wanting a lot more. Not much happens in it. It's kind of about her and her sister wives, the ramifications of them being kind of trapped in this mansion. You can understand the complicated feelings as well because the mansion is actually, it's gorgeous. They're provided with any clothing any food that they want they're kind of like in luxury while they're there but obviously they are still trapped obviously the main character she can't really shake that off but she's kind of like oh well it is a good situation but it's also not she just kind of wants to escape and get back to her family yeah i kind of just wish more things happened i wish the romance was a bit more compelling if i'm supposed to feel sorry especially the husband i was like any time the main character was feeling sorry for him or he entered any room or any scene, I was just like, ugh. <laughs> like, I just couldn't care less about him. But it does play, I think the overall theme is it does play with the idea of who's truly a captive, who's truly free. So it's got an interesting discussions on that and definitely some moral discussions of genetic engineering and all these things. Every, everyone's genetically engineered in this world. That's my thoughts. I really don't know. I think I'm gonna, honestly, I think three stars is a bit generous. It's definitely no more than that. It was enjoyable enough that I definitely will read two and three, I think, because I would just like to see, I would like to see what happens. I do have a feeling it's going to get better. I do feel like this was definitely just a setup for more to come, which I'm not used to nearly. <laughs> and then I think there's also an element of that I'm not the target audience obviously this came out in 2010 or 11 around the YA dystopia hype that came out and I think if I was like a teenager reading this I might have enjoyed it a bit more but it was fine not the worst not the best so yeah I thought I would wrap up day five here I'm actually not sure if I'm going to keep vlogging I am still going to continue so I'm still going to do there's still two days left there's Saturday and Sunday so the 30th and 31st of October and I'm still going to do the Instagram prompts and stuff but I just have a family visiting and I've got a few things planned so I just think I'm not going to film it I do still plan to read for the rest of the weekend and I do still plan to do the Instagram prompts. I don't think I'll do another daily vlog actually because I just won't have time to edit. But yeah, Vampathon's been really fun. It's been a lot of work too, like you have to, obviously I didn't have to, I didn't have to vlog. Like to participate it was only reading and Instagram if you wanted, but I wanted a vlog too. I think it'll be nice to have just the weekend where I can just read. I can't see me getting much reading done but I'll try. Yeah, it's been so much fun like 
watching other people's vlogs and seeing what everyone's uploading with the prompts each day it has been really fun and i have really enjoyed it and i'd definitely do a readathon again yeah this is the first like week-long readathon i ever joined i've done reading challenges myself but never like someone else's readathon that i joined in but uh, yeah it's really really fun and i definitely would do another one so yeah that's me that's the end of ampathon for me vlogging anyway thank you so so much for watching i have a goodreads i have a bookstagram and a book twitter and i'll leave them in the description i'll also leave any books that i've mentioned in the description as well yeah thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye